customary norms are still pervasive in contemporary Africa. Out of 43 countries for which we have data, in 27, official modern law coexists with customary law. What we are interested in is understanding how this environment, the coexistence of the customary and modern law, affects individual choices in the economic sphere and also what impact this has on the effectiveness of policy reforms. We study the effects of an inheritance reform passed by the government of Ghana in 1985 on parents' educational investment. This reform, called the Interstate Succession Law, mandated that a certain fraction of parental and in particular father's property should be inherited by his own children. While this might seem natural in a patrilineal society, it was not so in Ghana because about half of the population belongs to an ethnicity, the Akan, that is matrilineal. A man inherits property not from his own father, but from his maternal uncle. First, we separate the population into the Akan, who were the groups for whom the interstate succession law implied a significant departure from the traditional norm, and the non-Akan. Then, within each group, we compare different cohorts. The cohorts that were still of school age when the reform was passed, and the cohorts that were too old to be impacted because they were already past school age. We find that Akan men exposed to the reform experienced a reduction of almost one year of education compared to non-Akans of the same cohorts, and this represents about a 10% decrease. Importantly, this is concentrated among landed households, who were the ones for which for the reform was effective, and not on households that didn't have land. They also experience a lower probability of completing secondary school by about uh, 9 percentage points, again concentrated among landed households. Many governments are currently embarking in land titling and policies for the individualization of land rights. We show that these policies have far-reaching implications that go well beyond the impact on agricultural productivity.